late stage Parkinson's disease represented today a normal population, which is not usually included into clinical study and um, trials because those patients are frail. They have very, it is very hard for them to come to the outpatient uh, hospital visit because uh, they cannot uh, walk, uh, they are uh, often institutionalized. So um, there are actually no trials that include those patients in for uh, the study, the assessment of new drugs or even other non-pharmacological treatment. So it is uh, important to consider those patients when we are going to perform a research study. And uh, it is important that we uh, study the what we can do for them in terms of adapted tools, adapted tools to evaluate those patients or adapted pharmacological and non-pharmacological approach, therapeutical approach for those patients. And it is important is, as we know, uh, Parkinson's disease prevalence is expected to increase in the next decade, and we will have a patient with a longer disease duration or patients that are old and have Parkinson's disease. So we need to be prepared to manage those patients. And we will have also uh, more and more patients who will have uh, uh, subthalamic deep brain stimulation or duodop or apomorphine in the late stage of the disease. So we need to be prepared to manage those devices, either treatment even in the late stage of the disease.